Hi friends, I hope you're having a good day. You know, it's 2021 and I feel that by this time, a lot of things should be obvious. Like Katherine Hahn is a national treasure and squirrels are just rats with perms. And if you don't have clear consent with someone you're hooking up with, it's assault. It's that simple. So I was shocked, but also not really, to hear that there was a unanimous ruling in the Minnesota Supreme Court that says, a victim can only be too drunk to consent if someone else gave them the drinks. Meaning if they got drunk on their own, tough luck. And this happened because a man in this case met his victim when she was too drunk to get into a bar. But since he didn't get her drunk, he's on a fast pass to getting lesser charges. I can't believe I have to say this, but the fact that she was already too drunk when he met her does not make the situation better. If a bar that literally is in business because it takes people's money to get drunk says, no ma'am, you're too drunk to enter, chances are you're also too drunk to make other decisions. Look, what are you even talking? Do I need to send a DVD of Promising Young Woman to every judge in Minnesota? Yet again, it seems like the justice system is doing everything they can to blame the victim, while they literally turn into a pretzel to find a way to excuse the person that should be blamed. Like seriously, the American legal system must do yoga. It's flexible. Like when Brock Turner assaulted an unconscious student. What happened They gave him a lighter sentence. Why? Oh, because he's a Stanford graduate that has a bright future. We shouldn't ruin his life over this. And on top of that, he's a competitive swimmer. Yeah, think about how much his backstroke will contribute to society. Plus, do we really know that this unconscious girl didn't give consent, you know, while unconscious? How do you look at yourself in the mirror? Or what about Clarence Thomas and Brett Kavanaugh? They both had credible sexual assault allegations against them. And what was the response? Oh, but these guys are so bright. They've had great careers. We shouldn't punish them. Why now? We never give the benefit of the doubt to the victims. Instead, we love to point fingers at the victim asking, well, why were you in that situation? Well, why was she at a party in the first place? What was she wearing, huh? Tell me that. Why didn't she even go hang out with R. Kelly? Okay, she should have been doing her geometry homework. And this ruling from the Minnesota Supreme Court is just another extension of that tomfoolery. You're blaming someone, actually, let me clarify, a woman for being drunk, which is legal in the first place, instead of holding the actual person who caused harm accountable. And if you're sitting there being like, oh, this is just the feminism mumbo jumbo, we don't do this for other crimes. No one says, oh, well, why are you flaunting that big screen TV in your living room if you didn't want a burglar to take it? And no one's out here being like, mm, sorry, kid, it looks like you and the kidnapper are both at fault because you technically said yes to the candy, so. Laws are supposed to protect the vulnerable. And I hope that we can all collectively, men, women, and everyone in between, we can collectively fight for what is right. Because right now, this is more frustrating than explaining to people why Katherine Hahn is the greatest. She has rage. Have you seen Mrs. Fletcher? So Minnesota lawmakers, we're out here looking at you, waiting for you to change this law. And when you do, I'll happily raise a glass to you. But until you do, I won't, because I don't want to be blamed for sexual assault. So. I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day. Bye!